Welcome back guys to another episode of Decentralized Chain. It's Faraz bringing you the latest news reviews and blockchain tech. First of all, I just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate the likes and the shares and it certainly helps with growing the channel and the content. If it's your first time here, welcome and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Now today we are going to be reviewing BlockCloud. That's right. So BlockCloud is aiming to solve the scalability, trust and security issues associated with the Internet of Things by building a blockchain based advanced TCP IP architecture, defining how computers send data to each other. Now they're going to be having a focus on the Internet of Vehicles, Smart Homes, Smart Health, edge computing and the sharing economy. Now they'll be doing all of this by using a service centric blockchain architecture with service centric networking known as SCN. Now SCN is a well known architecture in the IT in the IoT domain but it lacks security and trust and BlockCloud will embed blockchain on top of SCN to address the trust and security issues along with an incentive model. Now you might be thinking what is SCN? In layman terms, SCN allows applications to communicate using service names instead of addresses such as IP addresses. Therefore, this will actually give it a clean slate solution for interface failover, device mobility, as well as global scalability. Now, if we have a look at the architecture, it consists of four layers. Firstly, the transaction chain layer. This stores the transaction, acts as a ledger, it's a compacted directed acyclic graph or CODAG, which is an improved version of the DAG structure and will be used for registering transactions. It will use proof of service to achieve consensus in the network by the verifiers in the network. The second layer is the service chain layer. So this binds service names to the hash. The third is the routing layer. This is where the service files are stored with routing information. And the fourth layer is the service layer now known as the service access layer or SAL to enable service name based communications. There will also be a DAP marketplace built as a facilitation point between the service providers and subscribers utilizing a truthful continuous double auction mechanism TCDA to fairly distribute services and defend against price cheating. Token utility. So the block token is going to be used as a reward mechanism in the ecosystem for miners verifies in the network and to the service providers in the marketplace. Now, roadmap is a long journey. Key dates to pull out are Q4 2018 for testnet, but this will only include the CODAG and the POS layers along with the bilateral auction mechanism. Then Q2 2019 for the main testnet incorporating the full four layers, although the roadmap is a bit unclear on when the actual mainnet launch will be. Now, looking at the team, the team consists of 12 members and they are all experienced experts in the IoT and also the blockchain field. The team members are from Princeton, Tingdao University, Peking University, Huawei, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent and PwC. They also participated in the development of the first international standards for the next generation Internet in China, have published more than 50 papers in international top academic conferences and periodicals which have been cited more than 300 times worldwide and have applied for more than 80 patents. A key number of team members are from an established leading company in the field of smart home and wear which has raised more than 60 million dollars and has connected over 8 million end users, more than 7 million devices along with having 1 million daily active users and over 3 million monthly active users. Just looking at the top level, we have Zhou Jing Ming, so CEO. He's worked as the CTO of Odman, the company behind BlockCloud ICO. He's also the visiting scholar to Princeton University, PhD at Tingshao University. He is a member of the Blockchain Special Committee of China Computer Federation, as well as having publications published on top conferences and journals. Then you've got Xu Yang, chairman, SCN lab principal. He's the CEO of Odman. He is the visiting scholar at Case Western Reserve University, PhD from Ting Chao University and studied his postdoctoral degree at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. And then lastly, we have Dai Pan, who's the co-founder and COO, is an urban intelligent expert of Shenzhen, China. He has also co-founded a startup with $6.5 million raised. In terms of advisors and partners, when it comes to advisors and partners, BlockCloud has an impressive team with a further 15 technical advisors with experience across IoT, AI, information security, networks and majority holding PhDs. 
They also have a further three business advisors, taking the total up to 18 advisors, with one of them being Roger Lim, founding partner of Neo Global Capital. They have additional partners other than Neo Global Capital being the obvious. We also have GBIC, MW Partners, BlockVC, to name just a few. So token metrics. Looking at the token metrics, the ICO is looking to raise a hard cap of 15 million USD, of which 12 million dollars will be raised through private sales. So this represents 15% of the token supply, putting the total supply of tokens at 10 billion. The price of one block token will therefore be 0.008 cent. Also to note, for private sale, only 20% of tokens will be released before the exchange listing, and then two months after the exchange listing, 10% of tokens will be released every month. Looking at the remainder of the supply, a further 3 billion or 30% will be for mining awards. Early contributors have taken 10%. However, the team and foundation retain around 40%, which does seem on the higher side to me, although we are yet to see details of the actual team lockup. Awareness and hype. In terms of awareness and hype, we have presence across Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, with around 1,850 users, and we also have Telegram sitting at over 25,000 users. There will also be planned global roadshows and meetups too. So in terms of my final thoughts and what I think about the project as a whole, for the project, it's a four. Although SCN itself is not realized yet and combining blockchain with SCN may take time to realize value in our daily use. However, saying that we do have a team who are heavily connected in this space and know the detail well, along with blockchain experience, and an existing company focusing on IoT, which I personally feel always helps with pushing out usage and adoption, considering they have a backbone of 8 million served end users. Prototype is a zero. There is no demo publicly available yet that I'm aware of, and the first partial testnet is due in Q4 2018. The roadmap is long, Q2 2019, until a full four-layer testnet comes out. Team, the team are a four. Team looks strong in domain expertise and have very good IoT background. These guys seem to know the low level detail very well and already from an established company in this space. Advisors and partners. So for advisors and partners, it's a four. They have an army of technical advisors and a number of business advisors plus major investors like Neo Global Capital. Token metrics is a three. The hard cap is at 15 million US dollars, which seems reasonable for a blockchain project and gives room to grow for an ROI perspective. I like the vesting period from a non-private investor's perspective. It gives me reassurance on some price stability when it hits exchanges. Only unknown at the moment is the vesting period for the team and foundation tokens. All we know is that this equates to 40% of tokens. Hype is going to be a 3.5. I see this building up, if not already. It appears as a top ICO in a number of prominent top 10 charts, plus gaining coverage by prominent crypto figures, coupled with the global roadshow and most likely a small amount reserved for pre-sale and crowd sale should drive hype even further. So there you have it, guys. Block Cloud, certainly an ICO to watch out for. Feel free to drop some comments below and let me know your thoughts. Once again, thanks guys for all the support so far with the channel. So please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, give this a like, a share, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.